Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters. And just rolling through this winter weather. I know, these are supposed to be evergreen. I'm not supposed to be talking about the weather. But anyways, check out everything at Sorgatron.com. Check out information on the uh, Squarespace workshop we'll be doing here at the beginning of February. And uh, today I want to talk about podcasting. Um, so a couple weeks ago, I uh, talked about uh, uh, Never Eat Alone, a book that I read uh, a few years ago that really informs kind of my networking. You know, uh, you know, I'm having a lot of lunches, but I'm actually having two coffees today. Uh, one just kind of get together with people to, uh, to to talk about some 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 ideas, and another one is uh, is somebody I actually ran into in a coffee shop, and and we're furthering a discussion, um, doing some interesting things here in the Beachview area, and uh, up Pittsburgh, and uh, and then and then. Even last night, uh, I got to uh, uh, meet the the folks over at River's Edge, which is a podcast slash mostly streaming radio station uh, that they have going on. Got a pretty cool deal going on there uh, in Millvale, of all places. Had some uh, good stuff coming up. And uh, so we're going to be doing some stuff, and it looks like Awesome Cast is going to start to uh, broadcast over there. And, uh, and I started thinking about kind of a, a joining of the two. So, you know, the concept never eat alone. How about never podcast alone? And I don't mean never, you know, I, this is obviously a solo podcast uh, the way that we, we do this one. Um, but, you know, others aren't. You know, others are more roundtable kind of situations. Like, uh, you know, Wrestling Mayhem Show, Awesome Cast. We have, we have a panel of people every, you know, every episode. It's not just me. It's never just me. I think it'd be really boring if it was an hour of just me talking about tech or pro wrestling. But, uh and we always cycle people in. I'm always real big about we got to make sure there's different people on the show all the time. So so we're not just pushing out the same opinions over and over again. And beyond that, um, I, I was really big on making sure we have people booked pretty strongly here at the beginning of 2016 and see if I can sustain that for the rest of the year. Now, I'm thinking I'm not I'm not entirely sure who I'll have booked for next Tuesday. But anyways, um but no, I, you know, we're looking at that, and, and I like doing that partially because uh, the bigger part, in my mind, is to get pe- different people in there and, and get them in and seeing how we're doing the show and, and becoming part of that conversation and get new conversations going. It's really great to get so many different people in there as we're doing the Mayhem Mania, uh, where we're fantasy booking in a thought experiment, uh, WrestleMania. And, uh, you know, and we're, now we have opinions and matches uh, built from you know, you know, great wrestling minds on on both sides of the screen, and Justin Labar and Krista Joseph, uh, you know, and 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 beyond that, just uh, or, or awesome cast this week. They had uh, Marta of Marta on the Move podcast and uh, John Carmen on, and and just the, the insanity that that came out of that was pretty amazing. Even uh, and and beyond that, it also helps kind of expand your network. A lot of times I found that a lot of us are podcasting in a bubble. And and again, some great things have popped up in individual bubbles. Uh, we're doing our Sorgatron Media stuff over here. Pittsburgh Podcast Network's happening, and, you know, doing this thing with uh, uh, Talent Network, and it has some of the older sports guys on there. Uh, River's Edge is doing some stuff over here. Uh, Epicast is doing their thing and really kind of killing it on the younger comedy scene and, and building up an awesome network and doing these events. We've all been doing these things in our own fishbowls and applying our trade in the way that we think they should be applied. And now we're all connecting and cross-pollinating ideas and hopefully build, building something bigger and better because you know I'm doing things a certain way that maybe you know Buzzy over at Epicast hasn't, hasn't thought of or Frank over at uh, or uh, Podcast Network is doing something that could... That I could I could bring on board here. That would be a great idea. But other than that, kind of you know everybody having a coffee together and kind of exchanging these ideas and seeing how they're building, and everybody's having a you know a a, a line of success of their own. Um, getting everybody across to just cross pollinate those audiences is really nice too. Um, you know we've had on in the last few weeks uh, we're going to have on uh, we've had on uh, guys from another wrestling podcast that's the name another wrestling podcast we had Justin Labar who is on Wrestle Zone and Chair Shot Reality and a guy that I work with over at IWC and we used to drive to Cleveland uh, with Prime Wrestling uh, back in the day that's how I met him uh, before I think most people didn't know his name and uh, and he works with the Trib and everything as well we have people come on our writers for certain newspapers, um, and, and even on the, on the awesome cast, just bringing in other podcasters, other people, other people doing things. And now, you know, you do get the kind of, uh, halo effect of now those people are on and they're saying, Hey, I was on this podcast. 
you know, la- uh, last week, you know, and, and, and now those people are introduced to your show and vice versa. And then and then the people in our audience go get to go see what Mart on the Move is all about. Right. And hopefully that bumps up everybody's numbers. And and and, and if nothing else, you're just kind of training personalities, too. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's it's. It's like a, it's like a podcaster exchange program almost, right? And that's that's really what I'm kind of trying to establish here, you know, and bring everybody on. We had the does does this hold up guys on Awesome Cast, for instance, you know, and and it's it's uh it, it's pretty nice to do it that way. Um, and beyond that, not just podcasters, of course, not just podcasters, not just writers that that are in your 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 field. Um, but I've also kind of offered up for people, you know, um, there's artists and and other things coming on, and they say, hey, um, you know, I'd like to get. You know, some of the local artists saying, hey, I'd like to get the word out on, on some of our albums uh, or this album coming out or something. And I say, OK, um, can you talk about tech or pro wrestling? Do you have an interest in either one of those? And we'll have them on. And I kind of call this the love line style uh, where they have them on, even their, though their thing has nothing to do with the subject matter. Just come on. Have an, they have opinion about thing. They're part of the conversation. And we plug whatever it is they're trying to they're trying to sell. And. And uh, it's, uh, you know, just I get another person, another opinion. And then having those people on your podcast, if nothing else, makes your podcast look bigger to the outside viewer. Hey, we had so-and-so on. Hey, we had so-and-so on. And, and bumps that up a little bit. And, uh, and, and, that, and that's really nice for, for the appearance, for building that audience, um, kind of a, you know, in perception's reality a little bit too. You know, if you, if you have nobody to start with... Uh, you know, and, and but you're, you you talk to these people and hey, come on, and, and you're seeing like, hey, there's a big circle of people, and this is if this applies to your podcast. If you have like a storytelling podcast, no, of course not. I'm talking about the the more talky, conversational, uh, subject matter podcast. Um, I think uh, uh, does this hold up? Does a really good job with this because they have a lot of guests on uh, to talk about the movies. Um, a lot of comedy guys, a lot of a lot of other podcasters, uh, mostly comedy guys, I think too, which really helps bring up the level of the show as well. Um, because I think that also helps, you know, they're funny guys. Like they're not like stand up comedians, but they're funny guys when they get together and they, they start racking ideas out. Right. And then they get to hang with, you know, the Mikey and big bobs and, 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 and all these other guys that really, really kind of elevate that. And, and, and <laughs> I think kind of pick their game up too. So I think that's been really cool to watch, uh, as well. Um, other than that, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, and it's just really good for everybody to uh, work together here. I, I love the kind of the Pittsburgh vibe that's going on here that everybody's kind of re, uh, reconnecting um, and, and, and I'm building something uh, pretty cool and, and a little bit bigger. What do you think as, as, as listeners, right? Um, what do you think as listeners uh, uh, to your podcast when they have different people on? Um, and I, I don't know, maybe, maybe there are shows that normally never have anybody on. Like I have a show that I listen to uh, back to work. Uh, Dan Benjamin and uh, Merlin Mann over the Five by Five Network, and it's just two guys. Like their their thing is just they, and also and also it's a show where they don't need the cross pollination. Like like enough people know who they are that they have people listening, right? But you know, if you're just a person starting a podcast, no, nobody knows, you know. And you know, I mean, you know, if I was able to get the mayor of Pittsburgh on, you know, it that be and I just started a podcast, it's going to be a significant bump. Look at your jag off, you know. I think that really helped him out as well. Um, but, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, if we're, you know, it's not for every situation, but I think it helps. I think it's something to consider if you are doing that podcast, um, and you know, if it doesn't break up the flow, because I mean, I know you are kind of going outside the box. Maybe you have a vibe with your uh, co-host or whatever the case may be, and. Um, and uh, you're worried about breaking up that vibe. And that's an issue, too. That is an issue, too. You can have somebody on, and they don't jive with the conversation great. Because now, now you've built up this rapport, and now you're throwing, you're throwing who knows what into the mix. And, and, and that's a consideration as well. But if you can do that, if you can kind of shuck and jive a little bit with, uh, with that kind of thing and, and be able to handle that, you know. Um, one of the more challenging things for me, like this week, I had no regular co-hosts on Awesome Cast. It was all new people. And, um, I mean, of course, John, John was one that, uh, you know, has been on and I knew what I was dealing with with him, but I don't know how he's going to jive with everybody else. So there's more onus on me to make sure everybody's playing good and directing in the right direction, uh, that I want the show to go. I kind of let them go a little bit, but, <laughs> but, but, but still, and that's also a skill set that you'll develop over time as well. 
So let me know what you think. Co-hosts, uh, never podcast alone. Uh, this concept, this idea, is it something, if you, as a podcaster, if you're out there listening, is this something you would adapt? Is something you'd like to see on these other podcasts? Is something that makes you uh, introduced to another podcast? I started listening to, I didn't stay with it, but I listened to a little bit of uh, Alicia Ty- Tyler's uh, podcast because uh, she did a crossover with Kevin Smith, you know, stuff like that. Let me know what you think. Uh, Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron.com is the website. It's where I got these shows and my bloggy blog from the newsletter here every Friday. We'll see what I write about this week as I'm recovering from the winter head colds. And we're, we're, just, we're just rolling with it. I'm amazed I have a voice this morning. So we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.